So I'm surprised this story hasn't gotten more traction yet, but I'm going to go ahead and cover it here. I'll go ahead and link these articles in the description below for those of you that want to read for yourselves so you can see. But um, <clears throat> wow. If there's any truth to this um, messed up situation, uh, you can only hope that justice will be served. Uh, depending on how long ago this was, we don't know. Again, we, we have to say allegedly because we don't know if any of this is true. Uh, the person that this is alleged to have happened to at least up to the time of this recording, I don't believe anybody has come forward. Um, so uh, this could all be just one big elaborate tale just to get attention. I think it's the worst way to go about it. If it is, I think it's, it's really dumb. It's a really dumb way to go about it if this is just some elaborate hoax. But uh, let's go ahead and go over this here. So this is an article from Bounding Against Comics. It says, uh, it says uh, pro Street Fighter player Robson uh, Robinho Oliveira promo banned from all Capcom events after claiming to have organized drunken gang, uh, that word, of ex-girlfriend. Whoa. Okay. Um, professional Street Fighter player Rob Robson uh, Robinho Oliveira has been banned from all official Capcom events after allegedly confessing to organizing a gang you-know-what of his girlfriend. Can't say I'm proud to contribute to the FGC with this translation, but here goes. A bit of context uh, to our viewers. Robinho is a Brazilian uh, Street Fighter V player that got qualified to the CPT. He was previously involved in vaccination controversy, and now he brought this up midstream. So here's the video. Let's go ahead and... Um, maximize it here uh bro i swear to you all uh i'd go out it wasn't just a guy it was two or three guys for this single girl she was a huge uh you know what dude like a hardcore skank level 99 and i and on the next day i was there hanging out kissing her you know sucking uh you know what indirectly man ah those times i'll tell you Uh, then I found out. I found out about that shit. <clears throat> then a bro sent me a video of her. Not a bro. A cousin sent me. Thanks. Thanks for the sub, Tiago. Premeditated. Uh, then my cousin sent me a video of her, you know? And I said, bro, you're being a moron giving her chocolates and whatnot. Meanwhile, the other guys are uh, doing her guts uh, while you're out. Then I saw it, man. It caused me an uproar. I was mad. Then I said, oh, yeah, all right. Then we'll see. Bro, I shit you not. It's something that uh, I'm, I'm not lying, you know? I picked her up during a weekend, and I said, uh, she's effed up now. We went out there, and we got hammered. We got really drunk. I took her to a house and I was like, let's do something over there. And she was like, sure, let's do it. Oh boy, I took her to a house and I called like eight dudes. And I said, today she's going to get effed up. I took her to that house and I called eight dudes, man. She got herself all broken. I made a number on her. I did her good. Everyone got a turn. Oh boy, this is not, not good, right? If this is... We have, again, allegedly if this happened. The day, that day I went nuts. Then on the next day she was like, why did you do that? And I said, why did, uh, and I said, why did you do that? You're a hoe, girl. You, you'd uh, go out there and I gave you stuff and you'd leave your house to pick two or three dudes F in your house and you are, and you F with me. Wow. So, I mean, it sounds like from her response, I mean, again, if this is true, because again, we have to say allegedly because we don't know for a fact that this happened. And like I said, before and I'll say it again as of the time of this recording nobody or, or the person that this is alleged to have happened to I, I don't believe has come forward so this could all be just one elaborate hoax this could just be him uh, exaggerating a story him uh, completely embellishing what actually happened who knows but if that was truly that person's reaction then obviously there was no consent given there and this guy just admitted to a crime on a live stream. Um, as seen in a clip shared and discussed by fellow Brazilian Street Fighter fighting games professional player Rafael Zenith uh, Pel 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 <laughs> and later translated to English by Crusader Online, Oliveira seemingly made the damning confession during a recent live stream. Therein, Oliveira claimed 
that his former girlfriend had been cheating on him with two other men and that eventually his cousin eventually sent him a video of her with one of the men in which they could be heard mocking the pro player for giving her gifts while she was cheating. I was mad that I said, oh, yeah, all right, then we'll see. Olivera calls and picked her up during the weekend. I said, she's effed up now. And we, we just went over that. Oliver, Oliver then proudly admits we went out there and we got hammered. We got really drunk, though. It was never uh, uh, it was never made clear if he had intentionally plied her with the drinks or if she got uh, or if she had gotten drunk of her own accord. Afterwards, leading the supposedly intoxicated woman to an unspecified home under the auspices of doing something, presumably, you know, that... And then, uh, then says he called like eight dudes and said today she's gonna get effed up. Man, she got herself all burgundy brags. I made a, I made a number on her. I did her good. Everyone got a turn that day. I went nuts. Oliveira's comments implied that men, uh, the men that slept with her, though with the girlfriend being drunk, uh, the giving of consent would have been impossible, right? Because, again, the reaction the next day, which he claims to have happened, right? The next day, Oliver says the girlfriend was enraged and demands to know, why did you do that? Which would imply to me that she had no idea or that she did not give permission. And then he said, uh, uh, you're uh, that. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, we already know that he said that, right? Shortly after this clip came to public attention, Capcom announced that Olivera had been permanently banned from all Capcom fighting in tournaments. It has come to our attention that Robson... Uh, Robinho Oliveira made claims in a public forum wherein he described participating in, re in reprehensible and atrocious acts, wrote the company on January 7th. We have zero tolerance for these types of acts and behavior, which at a min minimum level violate the player code of conduct, potentially Brazilian law, and deserve uh, action. Therefore, Robson uh, Rob Robinho Oliveira is hereby permanently banned from all Capcom-owned and or operated events, including Capcom Cup, Capcom Pro Tour, and Street Fighter League. Uh, they further clarified, this is a global ban, meaning it applies to tournaments and events in all locations throughout the world, adding, while this is just one consequence, we hope that the local authorities quickly investigate and address this matter to the fullest extent of the law. As such, Oliveira's name was also purged from the Capcom Pro Tour website, where he was listed as an entrant in February's upcoming Capcom Cup tournament. Uh, Esports team uh, Pazzo also announced that they had kicked Oliveira from their team. Uh, so that's the tweet as of today. The player uh, Robinho FGC is no longer part of our team. Despite saying, I'm not lying, you know, during the stream, Oliveira later claimed to have invented the story, according to a machine translation interview uh, with uh, Global given per Capcom statement. Oliveira told the outlet while the relationship had been real and his cousin had told him that the girl was cheating on him, everything about her being drunk and getting assaulted invented on the spot as a joke and had been taken out of context. To make matters worse, Oliveira told Global, uh, Global that uh, at the time he was 13 years old while the girl was 15. Uh, that was a story I made up right away out of the blue profess uh, uh, profess that, that the thing about drinking doesn't even exist. People are distorting the whole story. He added, I'm now sad because people are already mean uh, mean to it, wanting to harm me with it, even canceling me from the Capcom Cup. I mean, look, and that's what I'm saying, allegedly, right? Because we don't know for sure. He could, he could have made up the story, but why? Why would you do something so stupid in, in 2022, right? You know, especially online where you know that people, a lot of people tend to take things at face value before really looking into things. And you're saying stuff that you know is going to offend people, right? You're saying you're saying something, you're essentially admitting to one of the most reprehensible crimes that you could possibly commit as it is. And it's all fun for you. I mean, probably not the smartest thing to do if you're in a position that you're in, right? Being a pro player, knowing how sensitive people are that you know edginess is not something that people tolerate uh all that much these days on the internet right like i don't think you can just say stuff like that it's not like how it used to be the early days of the internet where people might hear something like that and immediately think, oh that guy's probably joking he's probably exaggerating he's probably embellishing they're going in this day and age they're probably going to assume the worst first and foremost that's just the way people are wired to be on the internet these days they're going to assume the worst and again you know you put it out there you gave you gave anybody that's a detractor of yours ammunition to use against you so it doesn't even matter if it's not a true story if it's just a, a completely fabricated story it's it's the dumbest thing you could have done right was was say something like this and put something like this out here so you know that these companies they take all this stuff very very seriously and even then they don't want to be associated with this kind of edginess if that's all it was was you trying to be edgy you should have you should have known better i know it 
it sucks if it does if it is just an entire fabrication that he made up and he just lost his career over it but you know it's again it's one of those instances where bro you you should have been you should have been smarter you you really should have been smarter and you really should have thought thought out what you were saying before you said it instead of just you know try and tell these stories now maybe this is something within his character i don't know i'm not familiar with this player maybe this is something that he does that he likes to tell these very um elaborate very um edgy very um incendiary stories but uh probably not the best thing to do especially when you're when you're out there in the public space you know what i mean where you're where you're somewhat where you've become somewhat of a public figure through gaming right um, unfortunately for Oliveira, the closure of his Twitch account also means archives of his live streams will be harder to track down, making it harder to find the original clips, uh, supposed full context. Yep. Um, yeah, so at the time of his writing, Oliveira's Twitter and Twitch accounts have been closed, with the latter possibly being shuttered as a result of the ban. Oliveira previously made headlines for launching a travel kit initiative aimed at helping players entering uh, the Capcom uh, the Capcom Cup cover travel. I mean, that sounded like that sounds like actually like. A good endeavor and now it's you know everything is is sullied by this by by this controversy right it's unfortunate that um that he he could have potentially lost everything that he had built up on a story that may or may not be true right and that's the other thing too let's just say it's not true right the, the problem with putting stuff out there like this is that it gives somebody an opportunity that might not be on the best terms with him maybe a former girlfriend that he had a falling out with to come forward and say that was me even if it's not actually them right you're giving them an opportunity to claim that story right by putting something out here like this so this is another article this is from deserto uh, but it kind of more or less um goes over the whole him making the story up um you know it goes over what was stated uh the fact that he got kicked out um and this, and this is uh, this is what he says, right? Uh, this was a story I made up right away in a jibe. He said, uh, the thing about drinking doesn't even exist. People are destroying the whole story. The story doesn't even exist. Something I said in a joke. Okay, so it's more or less the same thing that he said before. He said, just, I'm sad because people are being uh, being mean, wanting to harm me with it, even banning me from the Capcom Cup. I mean, you know, I, it, it's, it's really, you know... Like I said, if it's not true and he just threw everything away to tell like a very edgy or incendiary story, that sucks. But at the same time, it's just like, I I don't know what he was expecting. I don't know how he expected this would end well for him. So it's it's really hard to feel sympathy because it's just like, man, you, you should have known better, man. You really should have known better if that was the case. And again, he better hope, he better pray that somebody doesn't come out of the woodwork and say that some girl doesn't from his past doesn't come out of the woodwork and say yeah that was me because then who knows what could happen there i don't know how the how the laws are in brazil what you know it, how their statute of limitations work and how long ago this was i don't know if it's something you could be criminally charged for but for his sake like i said you better hope and pray that um uh somebody doesn't come out of the woodwork and say that that was them and and that there's still potential for him to be criminally charged for something if there's any truth at all to the story which again we don't know if it is or isn't but you know draw your own conclusions from it like i said check out the articles link in the description below and until next time y'all know how it goes the hunt continues